there are no words for how crazy it feels right now. I feel like I haven't been here in a month. Like legitimately. It was two full weeks pretty much. Tomorrow would have been two weeks. But man, like time just didn't feel real there. My house, I'm so excited. I had the best time in Florida, but I'm so happy to be home. I'm so happy to be home. And I'm so happy I cleaned it. It looks so good. Like that was the nicest, slowest, most recharge central last two weeks. And I really haven't been on a trip like that that was that relaxed in a while. So I really feel so recharged and just excited to be home and get back to my normal regular life as much as I love my family and I love my family so much. I'm also 29, I like my space, I like my routine and I really cherish trips that I can, you know, really slow down and just enjoy the people I'm with but then get to look forward to getting back to my own routines. And I am so excited to be home and just like, just be in my space again, cook myself meals, do my own shit, you know? But it really was so special getting to spend that much quality time with my grandparents. I really don't take that time for granted at all. Obviously the rest of my family too, but I don't really get to see my grandparents as much. So it was really, really nice. And it was just the perfect way to start off the year. I feel so recharged and just so happy. A couple things to note. First of all, my hair is darker than you last saw it. If you didn't watch my rating vlog, you wouldn't have seen that at the end of it. Highly recommend watching that if you have it, link down below. But it is the darkest it's been in at least a decade, for sure. It really, really lightened up from the sun while I was there and I just wanted it to be dark again. I feel like once I committed to the brown, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna live on the dark side for a little bit. So here we are, I went to Sally's and I got like some professional stuff, like developer and all the stuff. And now we're here with super dark hair. <laughs> Who would have thought a month ago I would look like this when I looked like that. The other thing is that my ankle is still very unwell. Like I, I'm literally limping. It's extremely unfortunate. My aunt said it should be better in four to six weeks. And I'm really hoping it's better, like at least walkable uh, a little earlier than that because I'm not gonna lie, going through the airport and just like walking around with my suitcase and limping was a real struggle today. Like I'm just so frustrated because one, I can't really walk, two, I really wanna run and I cannot do that. So anyways, I'm gonna start a new workout program this week on Monday. Today's Thursday, we are just gonna reset over the weekend and then get into a routine again on Monday. 8.20, I'm just gonna make something really fast for dinner and not really think much about it and then get some groceries tomorrow. I have some packages I'm gonna open. I'm gonna leave most of those for the morning but there is one package that I'm dying to open. I got a whole new pot and pan set and I really wanna see how it looks. So let's open that. So happy to be with my stuff again. This is so nice. I seriously love getting to go away and then come back to this home that I love so much. I feel very, very lucky. Yay! Oh my God, I've heard so many good things about this brand and I'm actually working with them on Instagram. So I'm pretty stoked. I love how I get home and I immediately make a mess. One hell of a box. Old and new. Gorge. Okay, I just have to open this up like I had to. I've been thinking about this for days and they are better than I expected. Anyways guys, I am home. I'm gonna make a very quick little dinner and then take a shower and then crawl into bed. And we'll see you tomorrow. good to be home like waking up in my bed the light pouring in like the sun has come back to toronto and that is better than i could ever describe it's also warm outside like it is slightly killing me that in my head <laughs> i'm like you know what i need to rest my foot i need to rest because i really haven't had an opportunity to do so because in florida we do a lot of walking and i didn't want to not go on the walks and just like sit but now that i'm home i was like okay i'm gonna sit 
and I'm gonna rest my ankle. But it's a beautiful day, and all I wanna do is run. All I wanna do is go for a wonderful run outside. Painful, but I'm gonna stop complaining about it because it is what it is, this is what happens. My dad keeps saying that this is my fault. I pushed myself too hard, I tried to up my kilometers too fast, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Maybe that's true, maybe it is. Either way, what's done is done. It will heal, I will run again. Until then, I'm just gonna be sad, but I might have to go for a walk. I might have to do it. It's like a spring day outside, warm, warm for February. Today though, we are doing some post-trip reset stuff, not like to the fullest of extent, because I really do need to rest the foot. But I do have to order groceries. I might walk to Whole Foods and get some groceries there. I wanna cook something for dinner tonight because I haven't cooked in so long. I even like for breakfast, I've had my dad cooking me eggs for the last two weeks, which has been so wonderful. It's so nice when your parents will just like cook for you and you don't have to think about that stuff. Then you go home and actually, I was gonna say that it's like sad to cook for yourself, but I look forward to it. I'm looking forward to doing my own things again, but it was really quite a nice, Luxury. I do have a lot of work to do today, so I'm gonna go for a walk probably around noon and then just work for the rest of the afternoon. I wanna do some organizing around the kitchen because there's a lot of stuff jammed into drawers and I was trying to organize a little bit this morning, but there's still a lot I can do. It's just gonna be an overall reset weekend leading up to Monday where I'm gonna get into my routine. Also, it's so crazy seeing my, <laughs> myself with this dark hair. It's a bit of an adjustment, but I do think it is better than the blonde. Like even now looking back at pictures from the beginning of January, I'm like, oh my God. It's not that I think it looked bad. I just think that this, I look so much better with this dark hair. And I'm honestly very happy about that because this way I can keep my hair significantly healthier. And it's also much more maintainable because this is my natural color. This is it. This is the most natural that I've been in so long. <laughs> natural hair color, obviously it's dyed, but like this is my color. No filler, no Botox. This is just me. And you know what? I like this me. It is unbelievably beautiful outside today. Like unbelievably. Considering it's February, like it should not feel that wonderful to go on a walk. I'm like a little sweaty right now. It was so nice. Wow, what a perfect first day back, seriously. Let me give you a haul of what I got. I usually just take this tote and it fits everything, but today it did not. We have to get another bag. I got four chicken breasts, just like the classic simple grilled chicken. I got some baby spinach, spring mix for salad. I'm gonna make a salad for lunch. And then I got this, I was looking for the low sodium soy sauce and I saw this Naked and Saucy brand. Soy sauce substitute, it's got 65% less sodium. So I picked this up, we'll see how it tastes. I don't know. And then I also thought they had this peanut sauce and dressing and I love peanut sauce. So I picked this up. It's only got two grams of sugar. We'll see if it tastes good. And then I just got some broccoli, green beans, cottage cheese, and avocados. These ones are actually ripe, which is brilliant because I'm gonna make this salad that I was making before I left for my trip. It is so good. It is so simple, but delicious. It's like a guacamole chicken salad, essentially. So this is triple washed, so I don't think I'm gonna wash it today. So I take half an avocado, and then I season it how I would guacamole. So salt, onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne, and then some pepper. And then I just mix it all together. I've been doing this with arugula, but they didn't have that today. So we are using the spring mix, adding a little oil. And then I just mix it so the avocado coats all of the lettuce. Now I'm just gonna heat up one of my chicken breasts and cut it up. And they're on the salad. I like to cut my chicken nice and small just so I get more bites of it. But it's so good, obviously so simple. And I just love it. You guys know I tend to hyper fixate on certain meals. And this was my meal before leaving. And I, I'm bringing it back because it's so good. As soon as I'm done eating lunch, I'm gonna go to the couch, elevate the leg, ice it, and do some editing because I have kind of a lot to do today. I'm gonna use this little ice pack from when I got my lips dissolved. I'm gonna put this in my sock just to keep it in there and keep that there for 20 minutes. <laughs> Sit. 
6.40, I'm not gonna lie. It has not been my most productive day. I've just been so ultra distracted. I'll be in the middle of doing something and then I'll have a thought of like, I have to do this other thing and then I have to research this thing and then I have to look at this and I have to write this down. Mm, and now I have to bake some veggies. It's just been a distracted kind of day, but I've still managed to get a good solid three hours, four hours of work done right now. So I think I'll keep working after dinner, but I do have to bake some veggies. I wanna have some food prepped in the fridge for me because whenever I'm snacky, I go for the snack drawer and I eat the chocolate. And I would rather have some veg in the fridge to snack on when I'm craving something. So we're gonna roast the broccoli and the green beans and then figure out what I'm gonna make for tonight's dinner. But I made sure to keep my Friday night blocked off for myself so I can sit on the couch and watch a show. So I have not watched an ounce of TV in like two and a half weeks. <laughs> which is so crazy. So tonight we're watching some TV. We're having a nice Friday night on the couch because we got plans the next two days and I gotta soak it up. First we're making veg. Cheers. This is what I'm talking about. I am peak ADD today. The brain is not working. I'm hungry, but I couldn't stop myself from starting to organize. But then, now that I've made my kitchen look like this, I'm like, okay, it's time to eat now. I gotta figure out what to make. Veggies are now done, but what am I gonna eat? I don't know, and then I'm gonna have to make room to make whatever I'm gonna make. And then I have to get back to organizing because I can't leave the kitchen like this. And then I have to get back to editing my vlog. <laughs> I get so many messages asking how I deal with ADD, ADHD, whatever you wanna call it. And simply put, there are days better than other days. And this is one of those days that the brain is everywhere. I'm trying to do everything at once and I'm bouncing around and not completing anything. Today's just one of those days. It is what it is. I just have good days and bad days, like most people in the world. And I can like recognize it. And I know that this is just not my peak. Cause there are some days where I can sit down and work for six hours straight and not think twice about anything else. And then there's days like this. Okay, what am I gonna make for dinner? What am I gonna make? While I wait for that to boil, I'm gonna get back to this. Nobody panic. We do this all the time. Okay. Ah. I survived. Set 12 minute timer. I have 12 minutes to clean the rest of this. Super basic tonight. Just chicken, right rice, and then the veggies we cooked up. I am gonna add some chili and crunch though for the crunch and the spice. The kitchen is looking a lot more organized, at least the drawers. I know I can look at a clean kitchen, but if I know the drawers are a shit show, like it's not gonna really feel clean and like peaceful to me, but it's feeling a little more peaceful. There's still like stuff on the island, but I'm gonna do the rest of it when I clean at the end of the night. But knowing that those drawers are a little better right now, oof, I feel good. Okay, we're gonna eat this. I'm gonna work for another hour and then watch a little bit of TV. And maybe start a new book? No, it's gonna be a TikTok night. There's simply no way I'll be able to start a new book today and focus on it. There is no way. I will be here the rest of the night. Ice going back in the sock on the foot. And that's, that's my Friday night. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good afternoon, friends. It is the next day. We're going out to Saturday. I've been working on my video for today all morning. I just finished it, just got it up, and I ended up working until 11 p.m. I didn't watch a single ounce of TV, so the streak goes on. But today, Sarah and I are going out. We're doing a late lunch day drink 
experience, I don't know. Oh, and it was just gonna be a wonderful day. We're going to Lulu's at the well, which is such a cute little space. I'm just wondering if I should try different foundation today because my skin color. I think I'm gonna. Originally, I was thinking I was gonna try the new foundation I got from Kosas actually yesterday. This is their BB Burst Tinted Gel Cream, which would be so up my alley, but I just don't know if this is gonna fit the color I am right now, which is a lot darker than I usually am. But I also haven't tried the Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. So either way, we're trying something new. I think I'm gonna try this one because the color looks a little bit more, yeah. This is gonna be my new foundation for when I have a tan because this is this is perfect. Very excited to see Sarah and like do all of our catch up. And I've really nicely scheduled my weekend where it's mostly daytime activities. Like I just like to be home at night. I just do. I like to be on my couch. I like to have a good sleep. I like to go to bed when I want to go to bed. Obviously I still enjoy a night out, but I like my bed and I like not waking up hungover. So if I can do some daytime drinking, that is perfect. Also like putting makeup on really is emphasizing the tan. I will say that one thing I really like about having the dark hair is I don't have to <laughs> worry as much about my eyebrows looking too dark because when my hair was really light, I tried to use a lighter eyebrow shade. So I was so concerned that the brows would be really, you know, a lot. But now it matches my hair. So I really don't have to think about it anymore. All in all, many perks to going back to your natural color. Okay, we're gonna do this and I'm gonna pick an outfit and then I should have time to spare before I leave to meet Sarah. It's another beautiful springish day in February, so I'm wearing my leather jacket. Sambas, this is my outfit. I have this cardigan, this t-shirt, my sunglasses. I'm gonna take this bag out. And we're gonna go. We're gonna go meet Sarah and have a wonderful Saturday out. I'm honestly really excited. We're down for a silly goofy kind of day. So we'll see where it takes us. Hello. Hi, what's up? Yes, how are you? Hey, Blondie. Look how blonde you are. <laughs> Why are we? Look at these little drinkies. We have the King Kona, and then what's yours called again? The Nine Lives. The cat. Look how cute these are. Like a cold brew drinkie? Mm -hmm. And you're like, this is sweet. I know. Oh yeah. Oh, it's very good. But you have to like mix it, mix it a bit, yeah. but you honestly just drink it. So good. Okay, okay. great lunch. <laughs> Lily was so good. So yummy. We had such yummy food. What was your favorite? I mean, I love the chicken satay, the peanut sauce. Oh. That's like my favorite. I was gonna say the cow soy uh, Ooh, the cow noodles. Soy Thai noodles. They were delicious. so good. The potatoes were great. All the drinks are like such a slay. Yes, delicious. No notes in the drinks. But also the edamame was and shockingly their delicious. Their happy hour is like here. four to six every day, and it's half price drinks. This sounds like amazing. An ad, but it's fun. No, we loved it. Uh, now we're going to Cherry's High we're Dive. Try I don't know what time it is. We're not looking at phones right now. Okay, 4.30, oh my goodness. Wait, you think it's yeah, too busy for us? It might be. There are big reservations. Hello guys, good afternoon, happy Super Bowl Sunday. It's 4.30. I've had a very relaxed Sunday. I had a nice two hour FaceTime with Maddie this morning. I've had some couch time. I've been icing my foot. It's been the perfect Sunday. Yesterday was the perfect Saturday. I, I thought that I was gonna be home at like, I don't know, eight, nine at the latest. And I got home at like midnight. It ended up being a big bounce around day. So obviously we started with our later lunch and then Nolan and Sarah's sister Mackenzie came and met us at this other bar called, I think, Cherry's High Dive. I don't know. And we went back to Sarah and Nolan's and we played games and we played games until like 11.30 and like 10 other people came over and it was the dream for me. They all went to a bar at 11.30 and I went home. That was perfect for me. And now I'm gonna go watch the Super Bowl. I think Justin Bieber's gonna come out 
with Usher. I really think so. I really hope so, at the very least. Everyone is contributing some kind of food. I have decided to bring the pizzas. So I have two pizzas, and then I have these garlic fingers that look delicious. There's gonna be lots of dips, lots of snacks, lots of goodies. So I figured three should probably suffice with everything else. Sarah has two NFL hats, so she's bringing one for me so we can match. I, I don't really give a fuck about sports. It's just never really been my thing. But I do like a party surrounding events like this. Like, this is gonna be fun. Super Bowl parties I can get on board with. Watching the games outside of that, I don't need to. Anyways, I'm gonna call an Uber. Let's go see who's gonna win. Are we cheering for the Swifty side of things? Or... Hello. Yes, oh, yeah. how are you? Yeah, fair. 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 Wrap it up, please. Not getting it. Not getting it. That is so cute. Are you fucking I think it's ending. She's cringy enough that she'd like that. <laughs> Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey are having the best year ever. They're thriving. They're thriving. It is 11.40. I just got home. I really wanted to leave when they went into overtime, but I, I stuck it out. And now it's late Sunday night. Normally I would be in bed by now, but alas, it was Super Bowl Sunday. Very fun outing. I actually ended up bringing some of my sparkling bubblies with me. I didn't really care to drink tonight, but I wanted something to sip on. And I put a bubbly in a wine glass. Wonderful. PJs are immediately on. I have to take the stairs nice and slow because my stupid foot. God. I'm actually going downstairs to go get the makeup wipes and also my ice to ice my foot. But how cute is this hat? Thank you, Sarah. My little ice. I just took two Advil for inflammation. I'm gonna put this in my sock when I get in bed. Makeup wipes. It's easier going up the stairs than going down. Parents think that I should make a doctor's appointment, but I don't want to. I feel like it's one of those things that just needs some time. The next few days are gonna be pretty chill, so I'm planning on resting the foot. And if by the end of the week, it still hasn't improved at all, then I'll go to the doctor. But anyways, it's been a really nice first weekend back. It's crazy how fast when you get back from a trip, it feels like it was so long ago now. Like I've only been back for a few days, but the trip feels so distant now. It's crazy. Time is just crazy. For some reason, I thought I was gonna be home at 10 and I was gonna have time to do all this like Sunday reset stuff at night, but here we are. I am gonna do one thing, which is whiten my teeth. I use the Crest white strips. I try to keep up with this. I feel like it makes such a difference. I'm gonna put these on and then we're gonna do a whole bunch of skincare, crawl to bed, have some scroll time. Now I'm gonna be up till 12.30. <laughs> I should've done this in the morning. Oh well, tastes delicious. <laughs> Twelve thirty in the morning. I've had a nice, a good amount of scroll time. I've had my ice in my sock, which is no longer that cold. And it's definitely time for bed because tomorrow's Monday and you guys know how I feel about my Mondays, especially after a trip. So we're gonna get into a good routine starting tomorrow. I'm gonna start my new workout program while I wait for my foot to heal. Let me show you guys what I'm gonna do. Going back to the Peloton app and then I'm gonna go to programs up here. I'm gonna start a new program on this. I just like getting to check things off. Something about it makes me actually wanna to stick to the program. I was originally thinking of doing this, but I think it might be in my best interest to strengthen my legs. So I'm thinking of doing the glutes and legs strength. Four weeks, three times a week, 10 to 30 minutes a day, and I'm gonna start it tomorrow. Super disappointing to me that I can't run right now, as I've said a million times in this vlog, but I really don't wanna fall out of the habit and kind of routine I've gotten into of working out. I mean, I just feel weird not doing any kind of exercise now. I feel like my weeks are really lacking without it and I just enjoyed it and I don't wanna fall off because of this. So we're gonna start this tomorrow and then hopefully within the next two weeks I'll be able to start running again. I don't know. If you have any tips and advice on what to do with tendonitis, in the ankle, let a girl know. I would be very appreciative. But welcome home, we're here. I gotta turn off the lights and go to bed. But if you made it to the end of the vlog, this is going up the day before Valentine's Day. Let me know in the comments if you're doing anything, if you're in a relationship, or if you are doing a Valentine's Day or just doing something with yourself, let me know down below. But I love you and I will see you in the next vlog.